Today, as Easter's coming up, a church revival in Hopkins County, Kentucky, has now led to 54 positive cases of COVID-19 and six deaths reported by the governor. He's asking places of worship to not hold in-person services as Easter is this weekend. Still, a Bullitt County pastor is refusing to comply, saying his First Amendment rights are now at stake. Paulina Butska is talking to a legal expert about that claim. What'd you learn, Paulina? Doug, the question is how far is too far to limit religious freedom, especially during these times of crisis? An expert I spoke to says the governor is not violating the First Amendment right, and here's why. The First Amendment right protects freedom of speech, press, assembly, and religion. You are not allowed to falsely shout fire in a crowded theater. Yes, you have a right to free speech, but you can't exercise that right in a way that puts other people in danger. During a pandemic, U of L law professor Sam Marcosin says that rule applies. The only First Amendment right that the church has is not to be singled out for differential treatment. So if the governor was allowing sporting events, but only shutting down churches, that would single out religion. Most congregations in our area have switched to online services following orders by governors in Kentucky and Indiana. Pastor Jack Roberts at Maryville Baptist Church says he won't do it. He's offering an online option, but continues to hold in-person services, including a Bible study Wednesday night. Some churches should and ought to go completely online. They're able to do that. There's other churches that can't just turn off the lights and switch online. Matt Staver represents Pastor Roberts and called the orders unconstitutional. And Hope Depot has no right to exist under the Constitution. Churches do. They have a constitutional right. You don't just simply throw that out the window in a time of crisis. Dr. Albert Moeller Jr. is president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. He says the governor is well within his rights. Most of these orders have been generally applicable and, and thus there's not a specific First Amendment uh, violation here. But he questions Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher saying no to drive through services. Religious liberty at the very least means that religious institutions can't be singled out. Uh, you know, if you can drive through the liquor store window, you certainly ought to be able to drive through uh, for uh, some kind of religious service. I also asked Attorney Staver about the online services from last night at Maryville Baptist Church where they took a prayer intention for a member of the church who tested positive for COVID-19. Both Staver and Pastor Roberts deny the person ever went to the church. All right, Paulina, thank you very much. And we have been on our real time.